Hello everyone, Beetle Bear here, and I'm just making a quick video to show my friend Snoopy. Snoopy! Uh, that's how he likes to say it. Uh, show him Monster Treasure, actually the prototype of Monster Treasure. So I'm going to go ahead and load it up here and start talking about it. Wow, okay, so I just spawned here on this land. Um, let me explain things while I'm moving around, getting away from these black blo blocks here, which are monsters. Um, so I've generated, procedurally generated this terrain here. It's grass and dirt and uh, water. The grass grows, the dirt grows into short grass, the short grass grows into tall grass. These yellow things here are, are treasure, so I'm actually collecting treasure, and my little treasure gauge is going up. Uh, this down here is my health bar. Uh, this over here is my inventory, one through zero. Um, so I can actually pick up special items. Right now I have, I think that's a, a mini bomb. I, I haven't played this since December, and I haven't even started coding the real version of it yet, but I think what that does is, uh, yeah, I press one and it, it, it blows everything up around me. Um, and I'm not sure if, the, if I programmed the super bomb into this one or not. Um, and the pink thing does something too. I don't remember what though. Let's see. Oh, it gives you health. Okay. So the pink ones are health potions. Uh, the neon green ones are bombs. And there's a couple other colors. There's like a purple one and stuff like that. Um, the more treasure I pick up, the more monsters actually spawn. Um, there's chances of bosses spawning too. Bosses are red monsters. Um, and they take two hits to kill. Um, there's one right here where my cursor is. Uh, this would be a good time to have a bomb and to use it because there's a lot of monsters. Um, and they kind of turn into this swarm of monsters. It's pretty gnarly. Um, and they just kind of swarm to you like zombies. Um, I'm getting a little overwhelmed here and I do not want to go near that boss because... Oh, and there's another boss right here too. Uh, okay, so the point of the game was to collect as much treasure as possible without running out of time. I totally forgot there's a timer down here. Um, so I need to collect more treasure. I think for every ten tre or five treasures you collect, you get an extra five seconds of time. I forgot how much I coded in this game. Uh, a little bit about the game. The game is co coded in PHP and Java script. Um, the PHP is to design the interface for the for everything to be drawn on. Uh, so basically, this container here is a, uh, is a is a table with a table inside of it, HTML table inside of it containing cells. The cells are uh, created based on some math that I have in my program. So if I want the uh, you know if I want the the game screen to be bigger or smaller, I can actually just plug in a variable and it will automatically resize everything you know, and resize the the tables and all that stuff via PHP. Um, and then the JavaScript actually draws every single pixel or not pixel every every one of these boxes is actually just a cell in a table that's being re-rendered by JavaScript. Um, what else? Down here, these are just other tables, and uh, all its contents are being driven by um, JavaScript as well. What else? Yeah, this is pretty much the whole game. This is what my space game is based on, although the space game is way more infinite than this. Uh, this game does have a border to it. I can probably run to it if I wanted to, but I, I might run out of time. Um, but it, it is a pretty far away border. It takes a couple minutes to actually get there. But that's good when you have, you know, and you're wandering around picking up all this treasure. These guys are spawning everywhere, um, you know, and you want to get the hell out of Dodge. Ooh, pink. Oh, see, a bomb would have been good to use on that, that big red guy over there. Let's see. I don't remember what pink does. It, it must have some kind of effect that happens around you, or maybe it refills your health bar or something. It didn't really, I didn't collect anything for it. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of actually playing through this while I'm uh, talking about it to you guys. Okay, I got you, you son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, those bosses are hard because when you hit them, they disappear. And who knows where they're going to end up next, and they'll hit you when they're disappear in disappearing mode. So it, it adds a little bit of difficulty to fighting the bosses. Um, and this will actually be a lot of what the... the planetary engine of the, the uh, space game I'm working on will look like. You know, you'll land on a planet and it will look like this, except it'll all be randomly generated, it'll look a lot nicer, and uh, you'll be able to, you'll have m more stuff to do, uh, things to collect, you can go inside caves and build fortresses and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know, if this, if this turns out to be a really good project over uh, however many months it takes me to really work on it, I might do like a $10,000 Kickstarter or something like that. Um, but yeah, so this, this is just the, the prototype I made in one week, um, using just the, you know, really basic tools that you should, probably wouldn't want to use to make a game like this. 
but it was fun uh, to you know just mess around with JavaScript and stuff like that. Uh, everything else will be coded in Java or C or something like that, whatever I figure out. I really like Java a lot, though. Um, yeah, so I'm doing pretty good here. I got a good, uh, I got 54 seconds. Let's see if I can run to the edge of the map while we're... And one of the limitations with, uh, as you can probably see on your uh, video there, with uh, PHP and JavaScript is that it does get laggy after a while, it's starting to lag up here. Um, but if I was using, you know, Java or some, some other normal platform for coding, then it wouldn't, that wouldn't be an issue. It would be nice and smooth, just like the space game. Yeah, so uh, I don't know what else to say. This is just a prototype, and yeah, there's other stuff you can collect. I could make a killer video if I knew what the hell I was doing, if I remembered how to play. I don't even remember how many items I put in this game. So that's that.